Hello everybody and welcome back to another video on the channel and in today's video it's my first video of the new spring test realm. I will have the link in the description below if you want to try it for yourself. I've tried all the content already, done the gauntlet, reviewed the spells, and I will have a gauntlet guide for you guys coming the next couple of days and also be reviewing the spells and talking about how I think they're going to affect the game and the meta and stuff like that. But yeah, without further ado, let's get into the patch notes and find out what's all new. So first of all, we have the Portal of the Peril game update. Now, basically this is a new tent in the fairgrounds area that actually has old gauntlets in them. So basically you can walk up to the fairgrounds and this new tent and you can basically do the Sinbad Horde gauntlet, which is the one that's available currently in Test Realm. This lowers the barrier to entry to the content and it's literally just free and accessible for everybody to do which i think is great i believe this is going to be kind of like a weekly feature where they're going to kind of have like a different gauntlet every week kind of system i'm not entirely sure if it's gonna be like every week every month or whatnot next up we have the forbidden library gauntlet now i already did this gauntlet i actually just finished doing it a couple of hours ago over on my twitch stream Really good gauntlet. It's basically the same thing as the Nightmire in terms of the gear template and the stats, just updated for 170. However, this gauntlet is a lot more short than the Nightmire, and it's actually a lot more like fun and engaging in my opinion. The fights are fairly simple, maybe excluding the secret boss, kind of annoying, but it's more of like a mind game and puzzle kind of system, which I honestly did have some fun doing it with my friends on the stream. It's shorter, and like I said, the gear template is just like the Nightmire. Essentially, I would say the gear is honestly not really worth going for unless you are a PvE player who does not have the Nullity robe from 160. Also, the outfit looks really, really good. I'll try and find an image of it all on screen for you guys if I can. A lot of people really like the stitch gear from this gauntlet, and they're just gonna be pretty much running it just to get the stitch gear. When I completed the dungeon, I only got one piece of gear at the end for a school I wasn't even on, so it seems to be following the Nightmire gear drop system where you get one piece of random gear. It's also a lot easier to craft this gear as well. You basically get dropped reagents at the end of the dungeon where you can actually go in and craft the stuff you want, which again is better than the Nightmire we had last year. So very good improvement here by KI. Next up, we have the Pixie Post, which is basically a new mailing system. Basically, somebody can like send you a message or like a friend and it'll pop up in the bottom left and it'll be like, oh, hey, like, do you want a quest in Croc or I'm your biggest fan? Something like that. Do you want a PvP? I got a couple of those on my stream when I was doing PvP. So it's just a, you know, cool way to interact with friends and, you know, set up meetings or dates in the game. Maybe even like a raid or something, right? It's a bit easier to do it this way and not having to rely so much on like discord for example which i think is great next up we have the quest friend finder now i think a lot of players are going to find this feature really really useful but basically you can look for somebody that's around your quest and then find them partner up and quest and then keep expanding you have to become a friendly player it says in the patch notes here if you are not a friendly player you're not going to be able to do this unfortunately so be sure you have that turned on if you are interested in using the quest friend finder. I think quality of life updates like this are really, really helpful to Wiz, and I'm really happy they're doing a lot of that stuff within this update. Next up, we have something I talked about in my previous video. It's basically the spell spell card inspect thing. Um, basically, it explains to you what a card does because it's like hieroglyphs, very hard to understand some of the text icons on the screen as you guys know with the Rishambo. But basically, if you right click on a spell in any given area in your spell book, it will tell you in detail what it does and try to break it down for you along with the icons when you hover over them. And once you're done with looking at it, you just right click again and it will unselect it. So pretty cool feature. A couple of spells in this update are a little confusing and I've even needed the help with like one or two. So really nice to have this in the game. I think it will help more players get into PvP and 
you know, raids and hopefully understand things better in the game. Next up, we have badge improvements. Now, this is pretty cool because you can actually get a gold key for basically going for a badge, right? As we can see on screen, complete all quests in Caramel and you get a gold key for it. Now, is it worth all your time to do every single quest in Caramel for only one gold key? Probably not, but at least you get something for doing that, which I think is cool. But yeah, some badges have rewards now and extra credit badges are a thing now as well. Uh, if you guys don't know, if you see like a green name or whatever in the game, I get asked this every day, every time I'm on, why is your name green, Liam? It's basically an extra credits thing for being a content creator. You get like a cool looking badge, professor's assistant, assistant. Professor's assistant, holy cow, I can't talk. Then there's a bunch of quality of life stuff right here for badges if you're interested in that. And another thing I noticed actually was in the Arcanum, you can actually go there and talk to a guy who essentially can show you who has like the most badges in the game and stuff like that, which I thought was really cool. Arc 2 spellaments, I will be making a video on all of these pretty soon as well, guys, but um, in general, I just want to say these spellaments are really, 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 really good for the game, and I think the biggest winners of this update is honestly the elemental schools, so like Stormfire, Ice. I think they're going to get a lot better with these Arc 2 spellaments. This is how you get the spellaments from your pet retriever, so spiritual retriever, elemental retriever, cantrip chest, main and side quest rewards, the crying sky raid as well, and various bosses through Arc 2 worlds. Scales of knowledge. I had my chat ask me about this. I had no idea what they're talking about. So I guess we'll read it here. Both Arc 1 and 2 spellaments can be obtained from the select boss encounters by higher level wizards using the scales of knowledge. After entering, you'll find a scales object near the entrance of an encounter. Interact with it to gain a temporary level scaling effect while level scaled. Actually, I don't need to finish this. I know what it is. Basically, Cam showed it on KI Live. You will go in a dungeon and you can hit this like little tome and it will scale you down to that level, to that difficulty, and then you will get the drops and the spellaments for that place. So in the screenshot or whatever on KI Live, Cam went into Mirror Lake and right at the front door, he would talk to this book and then he would go from 170 down to like level 70 and then do the dungeon as a level 70 and then get the drops there for spellaments there which again, I think is really cool. And we have Temple of Storms, Big Ben, Jade Palace, The Final Countdown, Trial of Spears, Mirror Lake, Keep of the Ganelon, and Jabalba, and Shadow Palace. Cross training, this is essentially the fact of the matter that you can dual school with more things. For example, I can train Myth King Artorias on a Storm and Basilisk and Medusa in my main deck. Really interesting. I think some people are kind of excited about this and some people are kind of like, oh, it kind of crushes school identity, but we'll have to see what happens with that. There's extract stuff as well for menstrology people. I don't really know anything about that, but it's right here if you want to pause and read it, guys. And then cosmetic items, you can basically equipped five emotes and five teleport effects and i think they just cycle through them when you get out of a battle on your mount in and out of a place or a battle uh, mercedes was telling me about this in my chat it's basically shift c on your keyboard and this is only in test realm right now but you can basically equip five different emotes new beast moon forms we have a ice ninja pig we have a Storm Cyclops, which I think looks pretty cool. Advanced content changes. Now, this is going to be the PvP balancing stuff. Um, I'll be making a whole video on this pretty soon. In general, I think this stuff is really, really good. Guild changes. The number of characters allowed in a guild has been increased to 60. Just some bug fixes here, really. And I think they also changed the guild cooldown. Yeah. So. When you join a guild, the cooldown will start ticking and the cooldown for the guild will actually show up now on the guild tab. Additional patch notes, we have adding five minutes to the start of the Azteca raid, which in general, really good. That should make things a lot easier for the more, you know, newer raiders and stuff like that. We also got some new tier jewels as well. Basically, it's like item card blades and item card counters on the tier jewel which is pretty cool. You can find those in Waldoru at the bingo guy. This various stability animation and graphic fixes, just 
bugs and making the game more polished and stuff like that. Very happy about this update. I think it's a very good update for the game. Uh, not really any complaints here on my end, which is kind of surprising, right guys? Anyways, what do you guys think about this in the comments below? Do you like this update? Do you think it's good? Do you think you wanted more content, less content? Did too many things change? Let me know your thoughts down there in the comments below, and I will see you guys on the next one. Thank you for watching and take care.